Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. It's Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's time for some Torque Drift. You guys have been asking for a consistent Torque Drift series here on the channel. Talking with the game devs and everything like that. It's gonna be this Torque Drift Tuesday. So, you guys asked for it. It's gonna be a permanent staple here on the channel Tuesday. You'll always get a Torque Drift content. So, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. Let's get to it. So like I said, Torque Drift Tuesday is going to be a permanent staple on the channel. There may be other Torque Drift videos throughout the week, but Tuesday will be a guaranteed Torque Drift video. So I know you guys have been asking for it. It's here. It's permanent. It's here to stay. Torque Drift on the PC. Big thank you to the game devs for hooking me up. We got some gold up there. 730 gold. So we're going to be doing some more builds and stuff like that. You know, building some cars we haven't built it, getting up in the rankings with some other cars. So, the Z has had a little bit of a facelift and a power increase. So, as you can see right now, this 350 now has 937 horsepower. That's because we are rocking a Pro RB26. We got rid of the 2J, as well as Pro Turbo, some other Pro parts. So, we're going to be doing more and more on this. The one thing I did buy for the car we do have the Y body kit but unfortunately there's a little bit of a bug and uh, I already mentioned that the devs are working on it where the guy's head sticks out the top and his arm sticks out the side when you have that body kit installed on the Z so we're gonna rock it with no body kit for today we're gonna be taking it to the track and seeing what we can do we do have some uh, Falcon Azenas on here we're gonna be seeing it looks like uh, FK four five threes or so we're going to be taking the Z out and hopefully getting some good runs in it with the new power plant and everything installed. One thing I want to do is adjust some tire pressures here. Yeah, we're going to drop that down to 12. Might be a little bit too much, but we're going to drop down to 12 and see how it rides. And for the front tire pressure, 18 looks good to me. If you notice we do now have the fender wells and everything full hopefully we're not scraping uh we should be okay but if we start scraping we have to make some adjustments so let's hit the track see what we got going on for today here on torque drift we got it looks like the wall desert palms inner loop alpine slide freestyle to slab and a full track on with dean kearney's car at gingerman so Let's just, just go down the list. We'll start at Desert Palms because the car has a lot of power to be running at Ebizu. So 930 horsepower. See if we can find somebody to go with us here today. Definitely going to be doing some liveries and stuff on these cars as well. But like I said, Torque Drift, Dev's hooking me up with some money so we can uh, do some bigger builds and better builds for you here on the channel with Torque Drift Tuesday being a staple thousand basically 1200 horsepower we'll see what we can do with the Z oh wrong button at the wrong button my controls got tweaked ah we changed views I didn't want to do that change up oh, nope oh, we Unfortunately, screwed ourselves with that run because of the view change. I forgot my controls did get changed. Why is no longer shift up, gentlemen and ladies? It is a change view. So unfortunately, oh wait, he got disqualified. So we'll take the W on that one. Weird. Okay, Are we gonna get a rerun though. We'll give him a rerun because we both kind of screwed up on that one. No rerun. All right. No rerun it is. We're going to find somebody else. So, I hope you guys are... Oh, man. I'm just pulling all these big ticket cars here for today. Looks like we got an Android user with a 1,667 horsepower Viper. Definitely a sweet looking car. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to throw out all the stops if we're going to even want a chance to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this man. Or lady. Depending on. Don't know. Don't know. 
Get my cursor out of the way. Chip in the third, kick it in. Not what I want to do, didn't want to smack into that, but we can somewhat come out. Oh, too much over corral. We just did a barrel roll. Do what? Um, what just happened? I honestly think we just did a barrel roll. Um, okay, I'm never gonna do that again if I tried. We did a barrel roll, you know. Insert, you know, Star Fox N64 do a barrel roll. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, maybe uh, take a look. Oh, rip! I did it again. I did it again. Change views. Don't like this view at all. For chasing. Oh, uh, and I don't think we're gonna be able to keep up with a 1700 horsepower Viper, anyways. But we can try. I think I need to adjust my control settings. I think I'm a little bit too aggressive with the controller right now. So I think I'm gonna have to make some finute adjustments because I feel like it's a little bit too quick. So let's go take a look and see and do a little bit of tweaking. Controller stick sensitivity. You know what? Let's drop it down to 60 and see what that does. I mean, maybe the sensitivity will help with transitioning way too weird. So let's hit Pike Peaks. Pike's Peak Alpine Slide. See what we can do there. I don't think I ever really remember running this track, so, you know, that's the first time for everything. Just gotta remember, why is not shift up? I gotta, I just gotta remember that so I don't, you know, rip, rip it again. Looks like we got a 1100 horsepower at 240. There we go. We got the gears right. So the stick sensitivity did seem to help a little bit. Try to bring it all the way out to the zones. Like I said, I don't ever really remember running this line, so this is all new to me. But we managed to somewhat make a clean run until the end. So one thing that I'm starting to learn is I gotta be very gentle on the controller. Very gentle on the on the joystick to make sure it's not super aggressive. We do have a better lead though. So the Z definitely could use some fine tuning, some better suspension tuning and things of that nature. I bet you he just said dip dip potato chip. Nope, he's still here. Home set Y again. I have my thumb hovering over Y. Can't see anything behind this 240. Oh, just a little, just a little love. Now I see what happened. Oh, I'm going into the wall. Rip on uh, me. We went hard in the barrier. I didn't give him enough room to play. Enough room to transition. So that was entirely my fault. Managed to come back towards the end. Get a little bit of a uh, door love towards the end. So, I'm looking for some advice from you guys on controllers. That was really close, unfortunately. That chase messed us. We're going to do a rematch. You guys on controllers on PC, what are you guys using for settings wise to help with the twitchiness that is controller drifting? I am noticing if I'm very fine newt on it, it's okay. Not doing too bad this run. Quick flick. Quick flick there. Alright, so we're not doing too terrible on this run. We need to slow ourselves down so we don't go into the wall again. Ooh, 
as I say that, we just get inch ever so closer to the wall, you know, I'm like, oh, I want to stay away from the wall, and I just get super close to the wall, but we're good. 53 to 51. All right, this could be a good battle. Let's hopefully we can stick in the chase. And don't hit Y. Stay back a little bit. Kind of got thrown off through that transition. Unfortunately, not what I wanted to do. Because we got to stay as close as we can. Oh. See, when I'm in chase, I'm twitching too much on the controller. I'm doing too many inputs, which is uh, making my line very erratic. So I'm noticing that I, I, I twitch too much. I'm trying to do too many movements in the chase. I need to be smoother, of course. So we did, did we take the win on that one? We did not take the win. He definitely bested us on that chase. GG to you, man. So let's go take a look back and see maybe about... See what we can do. Show tandem area vibration. Okay, okay, okay. Let's lower this down more. Let's lower it to 50%. I don't really want to mess with anything because if I try and screw with it, we could be totally messed up. So we're going to go try it maybe one or two more runs for today. Let's go to the inner loop at Pike's Peak. And do the inner loop run in the Z to end this episode off. Like I said, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. As I said many times in the video, you guys asked for it. Torque Drift Tuesday is going to be a staple to the channel. So a new Torque Drift video at least every Tuesday here on the channel. See if we got anybody in the inner loop. Not seeing anybody on inner loop. Oh, there's somebody. Lord of E-Town. 896 horsepower Corvette Falco 357 so I don't know this course so it's gonna be once again another figured it out as we go probably need to stay in drift with that And I think I just need to learn to tune the cars for a controller because the tuning that I normally run for on the phone is definitely not the tuning that I would be using for this. I don't even know how I figured out the way we're running on this course, but uh, I will take that. It's the first time ever actually running that layout. I don't think I've ever ran that layout. Kind of just went willy-nilly and figured it out a decent run I will never be able to get a even run again 65 K flat let's see what we got what did he get he got a zero oh I think he uh, I think he dipped out so that'll do it here for this episode here on torque drift so as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm evil rabbit I'll see you guys on the track